Okay, hi everybody. Uh, today we have a special guest and her name is Helga Scheibert. And she's the pianist uh, here in Pittsburgh. And uh, we're gonna find out a little bit more about uh, Helga and how she got started in this career. And uh, it's really nice to meet you, Helga. I'm so glad you could join us today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. Uh, so well, tell us a little bit about your background, where you came from and how you settled in Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, so I'm originally from Romania, specifically from Transylvania. Um, That's interesting that, right there in itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From Transylvania to Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's where I started learning the music in the art school. And then I um, came for my master's. I studied at Duquesne. That's how I got to Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, yeah. So I had an uncle living here. Um, oh, okay. But then he moved back to Romania. So. Oh. <laughs> so now you're on your own here. Do you have any other family here, or it's just uh, you? No, my family is is, is in Romania. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, I guess that's kind of hard being away from you know people. Yeah. In the I've been here for a while though, so. Okay. Oh, good. So you've got friends and things. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Well, uh, so what first got you into music, especially, you know, the piano? What, uh, what made you decide to focus on that? Well, it started way back. Um, my mother, she worked at the art school, but not as a musician. She was teaching oh. Uh, sports. Oh, sports. <laughs> so, Interesting. Yeah. Um, huh. We didn't have like a big a background in music in the family. My grandmother was playing uh, piano and uh, accordion, mm -hmm. but uh, no one else was a musician. Everyone was in sports and Strangely, me and my brother, we ended up in music. Oh, interesting. <laughs> but anyway, so my mother was working at the art, in the art school. And uh, when I turned seven, she enrolled me in the, in the music program there. So we oh, had this okay. art school where you can learn music and take uh, also the general classes. Oh, okay. So that's why I, I chose the piano because... Um, I like the piano, how it sounded better than the violin. I had the option to choose between piano and violin. And I heard like the squeaky sound of the violin when someone was learning it. So I was like, I'm just going to stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because I played the viola when I was in grade school. And I know oh, what you mean. <laughs> um, and I always wanted to play piano and I tried later in my life. And I just couldn't get myself coordinated, you know, with my right and left hands. My left hand, because I'm dominant right, it was very difficult. So never, never went further. But uh, yeah, yeah, I can remember being squeaky. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the piano is easy, but uh, you just hit the key and it makes the sound. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And it sounds usually pretty good. I had friends that played piano and I thought it was great. You know, I always liked piano. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I started at age seven at the mm -hmm. art school, and I've been playing since then. Wow. So, yeah, so yeah. you've been playing for a while. So that's kind of like where you went to do your major and everything was always in, in piano? Yeah, after the I finished the high school, I went to uh, study. Uh, my bachelor's was also in piano performance. Oh, okay. So that was in Romania. And then I, after I came to the grad studies here in Pittsburgh. Okay. So. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um, so, okay. So, um, like, you do compose music. So how is your creative process? How do you, like, come to, you know, do your sounds? And you just hit it and say, oh, yeah, this sounds good. And then we go on from there. Or just... <laughs> is it in your head or yeah well i always like to uh compose and come up with my own melodies um 
Um, and the, in class, because I studied classical music, which basically you have to read the music, so it's not necessarily creative. Mm -hmm. I mean, performing it can be creative, but reading uh, the music, you know, I always felt like um, it. I should try my own also. But mm -hmm. after finishing the school, I got more time to to do that. So that's when I started like um, experimenting with different sounds. I was also mm -hmm. like listening to more kind of music, um, mm -hmm. music which I liked. So that also inspired me. Mm -hmm. um, the other inspiration you know, can come from like people around me, uh, nature. Mm -hmm. oh. um, yeah, it's, it was interesting because during the lockdown, I was spending more time outside. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. So that that gave me a lot of inspiration, actually. Uh huh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess that's kind of like artists. You know, we we have the same things. You know, uh, you look at things differently when you you have that talent, either musically. And my husband plays bass, and um, mm -hmm. he just gets inspired by other people. You know, other musicians. Yeah. Now, do you? Do you have a favorite musician that may have uh, inspired you? Oh, I have and a lot of favorite musicians. Yeah, I mean, I have starting from classical music to uh, jazz, contemporary. Um, I really like uh, Chick Corea. Unfortunately, he oh. died last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hiromi, she's a, a Japanese pianist. Mm. Nice. Um, yeah, so yeah. I... I I do listen to a lot of music, but yeah, I yeah I I mean I even when I'm doing my artwork, I like to listen to music, and uh, sometimes when you're recording something, you can't have that in the background because YouTube doesn't like <laughs> the idea, you know, of you playing that, and they won't like let you do it, you know. So you get like copyright laws, but um, if it's your own music which I don't have, but uh, yeah, it, it's difficult, but there's so many that I like too. So uh, I guess then when you were in the lockdown with COVID, um, that was your creative process. You were more creative during that time. Now, were you performing? Yeah. I guess it would be harder well, to perform. No, actually that time um, there was no performance. Uh, I was, I had a group there, like a chamber of music, a trio. Oh, okay. And before the lockdown, we were preparing um, like a big repertoire. We're about to uh, go to competitions and per perform for different events, mm -hmm. but everything got canceled. Um, and yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And actually, after that, they both of the girls they moved away, so we never got to perform it anyway. Oh, but, but in the same time. Uh, this whole thing opened up uh, some new roads for me. Um, mm -hmm. I finally got some time for my own music, and that's when I recorded the two albums. Oh, okay. Well, well maybe you can talk about those uh, albums. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I never, I never imagined I would be recording my own music because um, when you are a classical musician, uh, oh. like they're really specific about like playing from the from the score mm -hmm. and um i was feeling like maybe i shouldn't put it out because i would be judged by my fellow <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we all feel that like, way <laughs> <laughs> yeah you get judged by those the peers you know you just want to leave those out of them <laughs> yeah i was yeah. like well maybe i shouldn't put it out because <clears throat> my professors will will hear it and they will judge me and oh, uh, you know, when it's like high level uh, musicians around you it's it's kind of a pressure but i was like yeah. well i'm gonna go with it anyway because it was a lot of work and um and i was after i i put it out on youtube and dif different uh places i was actually getting positive feedbacks so, you know, I was pretty happy about it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So you do have a YouTube channel where people. Yeah. Can... Okay, good. I do. Well, 
Okay, good. Yeah, it's also on Spotify and other okay. places where you can find it. Okay, we'll have to check that out because um, I'll link that into the information section on our, our video here. Cause, you know, I'd like for people to hear because like, yeah. I've, been, I've been interviewing a lot of um, musicians that are kind of like in rock and metal, which I'm not into the metal kind of thing. I, I don't mind rock. I, I do like classic rock and I do like blues and jazz is you know, okay, I'm not into jazz as much as I'd like to be, I guess. But um, <laughs> so it's kind of nice to have somebody that has this kind of talent, you know, something softer and yeah, interesting, you know. So, um, so uh, I guess then what uh, do you plan on doing next? Are you going to make another album or? Well, um, yeah, I'm actually working on some new pieces um i mean i already had like i already had 19 songs oh. and i'm trying to come up with different ideas for each album mm -hmm. just basically not to have the same sound like same sounds mm -hmm. uh, my first album um was i think mostly about piano music in the second one, I tried to add um, different sounds, like some some pieces I added, like birds. Mm -hmm. um, uh, some pieces I added uh, whale background music. Oh, okay. Um, That's kind of interesting, yeah. Yeah, so I, I tried to come up with different ideas. Mm -hmm. Nice. So in yeah. this one, I'm, I'm planning more like electronic sound. Um, I also like the the vibraphone sound. Which oh, okay. I can. I can. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's smart. I really like the putting it together yeah. with the piano. Yeah, that's nice. So, so yeah. do you like? Um, now this is off the thing the actual questions I, so do you like record like maybe the piano part and then record like you said this part here and like combine it you know like so different yeah so yeah different. yeah, okay. yeah I, I did that with the second album i did i recorded the piano part and after that i added the the bird sound the will sound hmm. um yeah so and well, each, uh, each of the pieces i was it was like it is, it's a connection um like one of the pieces i composed it like i went to this hike in the woods and it was like the music reminds me of that place so i thought like oh this would go well with the birds uh -huh. oh nice nice yeah. that's yeah. cute or, or i also a lot of times i also the colors inspire me a lot uh-huh like one day I was driving and I saw like snow and it was like uh, sunny. So this it was like a bright, really bright day with the with white and yellow. So I named one of my pieces. I named uh, yellow and white. Oh, and okay. I, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, oh, it. It. Creative. Yeah. yeah, where you get your cre creativity. That's that's inspiring um, because like. I don't go out much and I don't travel much uh, being older and, you know, you just, uh, I got health issues, you know, and so this is my happy place <laughs> in my art room. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's nice when you can go out and see some creativity and it helps you to ins inspire you. You know, I think that's an amazing. Now, do you play any other instruments besides piano? As I do play I mean, it's organ, um, okay. but it's not really, uh, not yeah. that much different from piano, but I do play right. organ too. Okay. You don't play the violin or anything? Uh, <laughs> you don't go with the violin. <laughs> the speaky no. stuff. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, I, yeah. I tried, uh, I have a lot of friends who played violin in school, but it's like, yeah. how can you? That. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, I don't know how in the world because we used to have like little orchestras, you know, like as you know, we, we would perform in front of our parents, and it all yeah, sounded good when it was together. But you know, like, I don't know how I managed to even 
I won't even know how to even play that now, you know, but it, it it's interesting. So yeah, I mean, I do like the sound of other instruments. Oh yes, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, for now, like, there's so much music you can learn, and piano mm. is is uh is is like it has a really vast repertoire. Like you can mm. play, uh, you can transcribe like a whole orchestra. You can play on on yes. piano. So. Right. It's that's nice. That's nice. Well, um, I'm gonna uh let you uh play something for us. I'm not well, I want you to play for, for us. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you, I want you to <laughs> and um uh I, I'm excited about this, so I hope I hope that uh you don't mind if uh playing and I'm gonna cut myself out so that you have the whole whole time to yourself and uh you can play with one of your one of your okay. pieces. Okay, let me get out of here and we'll be back after you're finished. So Helga. Okay, so I'm playing a piece which is from my first album. Um it's called Non-Dualism. <laughs>
That was awesome. That was, how do you remember the notes? I, I would have such a hard time with that, you know? Oh, wow. wow. It started since age seven. I mean, if if you do that daily and you you train your brain to to learn music and memorize mm -hmm. notes, then and anyone can do it. It's just, you know, it takes some time. Yeah, it's practice like anything else. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's Such finesse. Nice. I mean, it's just gliding over those keys. It's beautiful. But well, I, I do appreciate. Oh, that was so nice. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Well, thanks yeah. so much. I appreciate this time with you. It was so nice. Um, yeah, and thanks. So much. Yes, it was very enjoyable. So, uh, I guess, do you actually play out? You know, like in an orchestra, or you have? You said you had. Yeah. A I I uh, I do get gigs, uh, but right now I really enjoy focusing on composing and creating. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I do want to spend more time on that. Uh, yeah. But I, on, on the side, I teach and I play. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you still uh, at Carnegie Mellon teaching? Yes. Okay. I am. Yeah. Okay. Which you know, <laughs> now we got back to the their routine life so it's 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 harder for me to time uh, to find the yeah. time yeah for like com composing um so but yeah that's difficult i know when i worked too it was hard trying to just be an artist you know um it's now that i'm retired i love that part of it yeah. <laughs> but yeah it was very hard you know you come home you were too tired to even think but yeah um, i'm like sometimes i come home and like i don't want to even hear anything like no music just i want to relax yeah 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 i i can imagine well i you know i i got my master's at carnegie mellon so i love that place <laughs> i wish i could yeah. go back i mean i just I, I just thought it was a great um it was just so i mean yeah. all the people and all the different nationalities that come in there to learn and it was just a beautiful time for me. I, I will never forget it. I remember yeah. it being there. So. And the team too. I the the pianos there are so nice and yeah. There is a like all Steinway school, so I got to play oh, really? play oh, on nice. a different Steinway. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's a it's a great school, and a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah um, which you know, like I was coming from Romania where. Uh, we didn't have that luxury to play right. on the piano. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the piano like had missing keys and no pedal. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's so different here. Well, in that school, especially, I mean, I would think that they have the best of everything, you know, yeah. uh, because I felt, like, I felt like it's a dream. Like, wow, so mm -hmm. many good pianos. <laughs> yeah, aw. And That's plus, so nice. I could. I could practice until like 1 1 a.m it's like oh uh, yeah really yeah, yeah. you know all day oh <laughs> <laughs> i like being there too <laughs> yeah. but i was learning at the time but i did i did enjoy i just felt so like really i was so impressed by everything and it just amazed me that i was actually there i mean i went a little later in my life but um it was just it was a great time for me uh, like I said, it just, it was so inspiring to see yeah. all these people doing the same thing. They were doing this work to go back and help their countries or whatever, you know, it was really inspiring. Yeah. So Go well, to I, the library a lot. Mm -hmm. The Aunt library has a lot of good music. I actually, yeah. when it was the lockdown, um, I went there because we were still allowed to take books out. So I rented out like a lot of music scores and oh, okay. i was just reading a lot of different kind of music and actually that that also inspired me a lot mm -hmm. yeah because so, listening it. listening is different but when you read the music and then you know a little bit more than what's going on in the music mm -hmm. than listening it oh okay okay so, interesting interesting yeah well I'm going to close this out, but I do appreciate your time and um, it was a lot of fun and Thanks, I love yeah, it. Yeah, 
Thank you. Yeah, I, well, I enjoy doing this. You know, it's just a lot of fun because I get to meet people from Pittsburgh and yeah. uh, you know who have been here and all interesting talents. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well, and thank uh, you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I am. I'm an artist. I um, well, when I went to school though, I I kind of when I did my undergraduate work, I almost minored in art. But uh, I needed one more class to finish, but I was a single parent at the time. And I just wanted to kind of get out and work so I could support my children, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I minored in theology. That was what I minored in mm -hmm. instead. But I, I planned to go into uh, healthcare, like healthcare administration. So I ended up working for a major utility in Pittsburgh. Uh, it was actually equitable gas. And I got to go for my, with, for my master's for free. I just had to buy my books. Um, yeah. So it was a great opportunity. And luckily I got in and uh, I studied, I studied at the Heinz school and um, I studied basically information systems, communication, leadership, and uh i and i worked one year i was away from music i took a break from like the school and i was working like um at the, at the store and i felt i always like that one year was like that's like i have to go back to music i yeah. felt like um that's not i need to do music i don't know yeah i always that's it. You know, like when you have some kind of creativity inside you, uh, like my art, I, I always want, you know, I started out when I was young too, like a, I was around age 11 when I did my first painting. Um, and, you know, you were off and on because I was raising my kids and then I was working. So I really never had the time to actually yeah. get into it. But as I started to get older and I was, getting close to retirement, I started back into it. And then now I can do it when I feel like it. And um, yeah. it, it's kind of fun. I mean, I, I, I enjoy it. It just helps you to relax and escape from all the things that are going around you, you know? Oh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I, and my husband was the same way. He, he played bass when he was younger, he was in a few bands and he just got sick of it. And for the longest time he didn't play. And then all of a sudden he picked it back up again and now he's playing in different bands and enjoying oh, wow. it, you know, and I think it's always inside you. It's always there, you know, yeah. you it's know. Always like, if you, if you hear that call inside you, that means, you know, you should do it. If not, okay. then, you know, cause not everyone is artistic. That's true. You know, and uh, people don't understand that they think it's so easy. But no, it, it isn't. It's nothing is easy. It's not easy. I mean, you gotta you got a lot of work behind all that. You know, you have to yeah. you know, research and things, you know. So that's what no, I plus, usually pardon plus, me. like you you have to spend all your day, like all your time with like music, you know. That yeah. also can be tiring or that's why if you don't really like it then Oh yeah. Oh no. yeah. My son in law he teaches drums. He has a traveling drum school. He teaches drum. This man loves the drums. <laughs> he love, He teaches, and he's in a lot of bands, and he's always playing. You yeah. know, I mean, he it's like, plays all day or teaches yeah. all day. That's what I do too. Like I'm always around the piano. Yeah, yeah. So like, some people are like, how can you spend so much? It's like, well, <laughs> you love it. I mean, you love it. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> well that's all right that's i good. mean for me it's like it's better than spending my time in an office or oh yeah you know just working for what company like at least i i get to do and yeah. the, the other cool thing is like we get to play you know right play, like if you work for a company you're not necessarily gonna have that luxury to no, to play, no. Uh, or to create or Oh yeah, you kind of almost lose everything as far as creativity. It's just so demanding. Oh, yeah, uh, because then yeah. all your focus is on on what you are doing, and right. right. If you have like an eight-hour job, then it's and, just 
you get to go home and sleep and then don't do anything else. Yeah, well, that's it. It's like, a, you know, constant, you don't get a break. So, and then if you don't like your job, it's even worse, you know, so this way I'm happy. <laughs> anything to worry about now so yeah so well i i i do appreciate the time it was fun me too yeah okay it was yeah. fun so well, thanks again okay. it was nice to meet hey. you it was nice to you. okay you take bye -bye. care bye-bye now too.